Jeffrey trudges through another day at his low paying 9 to 5 job, just counting down the minutes until he can go home and numb himself with junk food, video games and weed. How did I end up here? Where did I go wrong? I worked really hard in school and did everything right. He just doesn't understand that his poor habits are holding him back. Adonis. Adonis is the epitome of success. He has everything that he could ever want, but he didn't get to where he is today by luck or coincidence. As a young man, he made a conscious decision that every other young man should make. Do you know what that is? To cultivate good habits and to avoid the pitfalls of instant gratification. Whilst Jeffrey was busy wasting his time with video games, Adonis was busy reading books, meditating and lifting weights. Number one, stop checking your phone all the time. Just this morning, I'm having a shit. I'm on my phone just reading the scripts that I'm gonna record today. And I promise, okay, I've not had this in a while. I had such a huge desire to just around on my phone, to go look at on Instagram, to go on Reddit and just go look at all the weak people on there. I had like such a huge urge to literally just sit on the toilet for an extra 20 minutes, just scrolling and scrolling. I, I literally physically felt like the symptoms of craving for this and I didn't do it, but honestly it drained a lot of my willpower. I just feel tired now. I want you to imagine yourself in this exact same scenario. You've just woken up and you're just about getting ready for the day and you're on your phone for something kind of productive, right? You needed to check the school timetable or you needed to message someone today because they're going to pick you up to go to work or to the gym, right? But then after that, you get the desire that it it wouldn't be that bad if you just checked some other apps. Maybe you get the desire, the very short one, to just swipe from the top of the screen to see what notifications you have there. You see these small desires, just the small things that are so easy not to do can actually drastically change how the entire day goes on. Because that day where you wake up and you do start to check your notifications and there is someone who has messaged you and you've got to message them back. And then you go onto one of the apps and you go on one of those and you start scrolling and stuff first thing in the morning for even 20 minutes. You know that the entire rest of the day it just feels worse. You feel lethargic. You're not moving with the same like gust that you used to have. The second habit that you've got to stop doing right now, especially whilst you watch this video, is to stop being so sensitive. A lot of people, especially weirdly young men, are so sensitive these days that when you're called out on some that it hurts your feelings. And when your feelings are hurt, you don't want to listen to that guy anymore. And you want to click off the screen. You know what I'm so proud of, of our entire generation of men? The amount of guys, like you see the, our subscriber count, 1.4 million. The amount of guys who click and watch my videos every single day, knowing that I'm going to hurt your feelings and call you out and tell you that you're doing some that you need to stop if you want to grow and become more like Adonis, the perfect man. It makes me feel so proud seeing so many guys like that. But as you know, there's a lot of guys who aren't like this. There's a lot of guys who don't want to be called out. Maybe you've got some friends. You definitely have some friends like that. They don't want to be called out. They don't want to change. And if you ever mention something like, oh yeah, by the way, like, you know, playing video games for eight hours a day and being a Jeffrey isn't a good thing. They'll either get f***ed off and annoyed at you or they'll be like this depressed little like low energy because of soy or something. <laughs> like, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, I should start the gym, shouldn't I? Being sensitive is like having your feelings hurt too easily, or at the very least, it's indulging in that hurt feeling. Because the thing is, my feelings get hurt a lot. My feelings get hurt all the time, bro. You've seen some of the comments underneath our videos, bro. Some guys are bro. Sometimes just someone just says something rude to you, it happens. You could have this emotion, this feeling that you feel kind of insulted by someone, but that doesn't need to change how you navigate the world. This is something that I try and drill into my best friend, Sam, all the time. He gets sensitive and offended at like his conversations with his mom. You know, like him, him and his mom just kind of like argue with each other quite a lot. And I say to him all the time, it's like, it's not her fault. You're being a little because you've got to understand and you, especially you watching this have to understand something. You've never been told this before because you've been told men and women that are same men and women are equal there's one thing which men are totally and utterly superior to women it's not even close and it's emotional control there is a superpower that you have inside of you your birthright your gift as a man and that is that you can control your emotions this is a superpower that you have that you may not be tapping into you can choose to be angry right now just try it literally choose like you can literally just choose just turn on your anger turn on your sadness turn on your depressed state turn off your depressed state as a man no one's ever told you this before because it sounds weird but as a man if there's any negative emotion that you're feeling you're choosing to feel like that because you're so sensitive and so weak. What you need to do is only indulge in the emotions, the feelings that will actually serve you. Is feeling proper depressed and sensitive and offended and oh, everything's so hard, is that actually going to help you? Or should you just invoke the feeling? Like, because you can turn it on right now. You can invoke the feeling. Like, you know, maybe there's some sport athlete that you really like who's like maybe a little bit more old school. I like Mike Tyson. You can invoke the feeling to be like, yeah, yeah, I'm like Mike Tyson. Yeah, I'm proper strong now. You can literally turn that on. So why wouldn't you just turn that on 500 times throughout the day so that when you're watching content like this. When you're getting called out, it doesn't hurt your feelings like the rest of the 
Jeffries that you know, because you will never improve your life. You will never get to that point where you can help your family financially. You will never get to that point when you can actually attract a girl if you keep indulging in your feelings. Men should be unemotional. And that isn't toxic masculinity. That's just a blatant fact of the world. The third habit to stop doing is one that no one's ever mentioned before, but it is very important, especially if you're in the fitness niche on YouTube, is to stop rewarding yourself by punishing your progress. So if you've been watching a bunch of fitness YouTubers or you've gotten into the journey of going to the gym and eating clean, you probably know how it goes. You eat clean and you do really well for a couple of days, maybe a week, maybe two. And then this concept of cheat meals comes in, this concept of cheat days, where you had this goal that you were doing so well on and to celebrate your progress, we're going to worsen your progress. This is like building a business, getting to 1 million subscribers and celebrating by making a really like, really like distasteful, offensive video to your fans so that some of them leave. Yay, <laughs> congratulations guys. This is like doing really well in boxing or any martial arts, winning a fight. And then after that, just breaking your finger. Like, oh yeah, celebrate it. Oh. Why? So many guys don't realize this. I see this in the fitness and diet journey for a lot of guys. You shouldn't punish yourself to reward yourself. Stop getting to a certain goal, working really hard for it, and then doing the exact opposite thing for a while. I have spoke a lot about the toxicity of the fitness industry on YouTube. Like the fitness YouTubers, a lot of them are horrible people like they don't seem like it but a lot of them are literally just brain dead a lot of them have eating disorders and the issue is that when you're a creator like myself when you're an influencer the people who watch you will be influenced and become more like you and so when you see these fitness youtubers who show you like oh yeah cheat day Krispy Kreme ice cream cheesecake McDonald's and oh Starbucks oh their fans will follow suit and these unmasculine people even if they're men you know the fitness influencers they're just bad people because they don't even realize that they've got a responsibility to serve and help their people who watch and by making videos all the time of like yeah 10,000 calorie challenge and oh you know I've just did my bodybuilding competition time to binge eat for like four days straight and oh I've gained 25 pounds oh life is so hard oh. you shredded down for your bodybuilding competition you made so much progress and then you just ate 20 donuts the day after and now you're like oh bodybuilding so hard i binge ate after i did my competition when you make progress in some goals that means a lot to you maybe it's your fitness maybe it's your youtube channel maybe it's your studies don't then reward yourself by doing the thing that's going to undo some of that hard work the way to reward yourself is with something that is entirely positive but maybe even in another niche so for example you do really well in boxing like you've been training really hard you've been going three times a week five times a week right after a couple of weeks maybe however long it's going to take you buy a nice pair of boxing gloves okay that, that's actually a really nice reward isn't it and the same with diet you've been losing weight you've been doing really well instead of rewarding yourself with a cheat meal maybe reward yourself with a new shirt that fits really nicely now how about your studies you get a really good grade after you get that good grade would you reward yourself by getting a hammer and just bashing your skull with it because yeah like you know the, 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 i got smart to do this so i should make myself dumb now because that's what people in the fitness industry think you know i got lean to do this now let's make ourselves fat to reward ourselves no, you do really well in one of your grades. Okay, go out with your friends then. Have a good time. This is supposed to be common sense, but these days people don't really use their brains much. I have a very interesting point now. The fourth habit to stop doing is to stop being blue-pilled, black-pilled, or even red-pilled. If you don't know exactly what these are, the pills, red pill, blue pill, black pill. These are kind of like niches, communities online of ways to navigate dating as a man. And the blue pill is just kind of like a normal conventional one of like, yeah, just be a nice guy. Here, <laughs> Black pill is like, nope. If you weren't born with like this eyelid shape, if you weren't six foot three, then you can never ever get girls. Obviously black pills for like lazy people. Every black pill is like 25% body fat and their breath stinks. They don't even brush the back of their tongue. And they're like, yeah, it's, it's genetics. It's cause I'm not six foot four. If you're not six foot four, then you can't get girls. Bro, your breath stinks. What are you doing? It's not cause you're not six foot four, bro. <laughs> and the red pill is probably the best version of these. The red pill gets confused a lot. If I had to summarize it, it's literally just telling men, okay, be more alpha, which is a really good thing to say to men. It's telling them, okay, stop being like a beta male, the kind of beta who has to like provide and just spend time with a girl when she's immediately the guy that she considers an alpha. I think it's a lot better and more effective mindset to keep, but there are a lot of problems with the red pill too. So the best pill to take, the best strategy for your dating life is the Adonis pill. I won't even call it Adonis pill because it just sounds silly. Like, oh, pill. Like, it's following the words of Adonis. It's becoming more like Adonis, the most perfect, the most ultimate man. Because when you think and dream of Adonis, you think of the tribe leader, you think of the guy at the top. But at the same time, this alpha male, because he is at the top, right? We can't say oh, this is cringe because like an alpha male is just the guy at the top. This guy is not that conventional, stereotypical, red pill, misogynist, alpha male, woman hater, you know, the guy who's like really angry at the d who's like 
asshole. He's not like that. He's at the top in the modern day because we understand that in the modern day, increasing your status isn't just about brute force and hurting the people below you. In fact, it's so interesting. Increasing your status and becoming the best man, the most desirable man is actually like, it's got a bit more of softer traits these days. You'll understand what point I'm making very soon, but did you know there's studies to show that testosterone, you've probably heard, yeah, more testosterone makes you more manly, makes you more competitive. Yeah, but not exactly what you think. More testosterone doesn't mean you're going to be more aggressive. More testosterone means that you will be more competitive in the thing that would normally get you status in the first place. So if you are in jail and in like in this PVP enabled wilderness, like you're in jail, everyone's like fighting each other, you know, the biggest guy wins kind of thing. More testosterone will make you better at fighting. But this has been studied. If you are currently playing a game where generosity is rewarded, where essentially if you are more generous, if you are more kind, you are seen as higher status. If we pump you full of testosterone, you will literally be more kind, be more generous because testosterone isn't just, oh yeah, male hormone, yeah, I'm angry. No, no, no. What testosterone does is make you seek status more and it, obviously you use your brain to think, okay, how do I get status? So if I pump myself full of testosterone now, I wouldn't just be like, punch the, the camera. I want to just like get my girl in here, pull her hair or some What I would do is probably make more of these videos because this is the thing giving me status. Testosterone just makes you chase status in whatever you perceive is the best way to do so, which isn't always that stereotypical masculine way. And so with this understanding of testosterone, with our new lens of the world, where we realize that those old brute force kind of masculine traits don't really work. We realize these days that the kind of people who become the most successful are actually extremely likable, influential people. And so taking these pills, and being part of like these small communities may get you some progress, but the greatest thing that you can do is try to become the ultimate man in all areas. And that's what following the words of Adonis will do for you. Like I always say, this is not a normal YouTube channel. Every other YouTube channel you've seen, the head YouTuber, little like weak skinny neck guy comes onto the screen. Hey, what's going on guys? Make sure you you bro literally first five seconds of a youtube video and all these guys are like oh make sure you subscribe make sure you smash that like button because we've got some good what are you on about you've not even showed me anything yet this is not a normal YouTube channel. I'm not a normal YouTuber. This is a cult. This is a movement. This is a community of men who are aiming to improve themselves. This is not like some normal, like, oh, five things to never do again. You follow the words of Adonis, your lives will change forever. You can look at the comments of any single video. Just go scroll down and you'll see that the comments of these videos are nowhere near the same of any other channel on the entire web. Why? Because this stuff is actually life changing. You can see the comments. Each and every one is guys saying, yep, I was going to kill myself. I'm not now. I've lost 53 kilograms this year because of you Hamza because you've been teaching us how to become more like Adonis and to stop being like Jeffrey. You can see hundreds maybe even above a thousand videos about me on YouTube that other people have made saying Hamza's changed my life this has happened this has happened. Take the Adonis pill mentally emotionally spiritually physically invest into this message of holistic self-improvement of improving yourself in as many ways as possible to stop being like Jeffrey to become more like Adonis and you will never ever look back and soon enough it'll be your comments underneath these videos saying you've saved my life forever. But but before you do that, I need to off slightly. The fifth habit that you need to stop doing is to stop watching these kinds of videos, self-improvement content without taking action. Because if you take no action from the things that you learn from this video or from any other video that I've made for other people in this space of productivity, of masculinity, if you don't change your life, then it's pointless. Then this is just simple content consumption and entertainment. It is absolutely vital that when you watch videos like this, where you've learned, okay, okay, a few habits that I shouldn't do, you need to actually go and make a real change in your life. I can spread the words from Adonis to you, but I can't come to your house and physically grab your hands and like, you know, pull them away from your phone and like slap you a little bit, can I? I wish I could, but I can't. So you need to now go ahead and take action from the words of Adonis that you have learned today. To stop checking your phone first thing in the morning, at least make some progress in that, at least tomorrow morning. Don't just wake up, grab your phone, AFK. And if you do, because it probably will happen because you know, this video might not just be in your mind as soon as you wake up, but when it does happen and you do remember this video, you remember this message and you realize, okay, I'm being a Jeffrey, I've just grabbed my phone first thing in the morning. Say it in your mind. It's okay to say to yourself, I'm being a Jeffrey. I'm no longer going to be a Jeffrey. F this. I'm throwing my phone away. I'm going to go do some work now. I'm going to go do 10 push ups right now to punish myself. You've learned now about what habits to avoid. And if you are interested, there is a message from Adonis about the seven habits to actually start doing. The seven habits that will fix your life. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.